Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here. We're going into the last quest of this month's February 2022 event quest. It's got Sam Wilson as the boss. And I have to say, um, he looks pretty awesome. Love, love the outfit that matches the uh, setup that he has in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series. It's pretty dope. So on the, as far as nodes go, he's got this, I can do this all day, which basically if you remove an armor up, he can basically get stronger ones. Um, concussive uh, uh, renaissance where if you hit into his block um, or he auto blocks you can get concussions buff synthesis armor up slash precision basically if you have a combined armor up plus a precision buff active that gets consumed combined into like a true strike uh, true damage passive true true something uh, which basically will allow you to bypass the auto blocks here I'm just trying to glance through like how he auto blocks and everything um, he has a special one bias which is nice and then the best defense so if he auto blocks he can get some uh, power gain and whatnot but basically he has 10 percent right there 10 percent chance per armor up to auto block um and so i'm gonna use uh proxima on this first go so she has true accuracy uh when you complete the mini missions you can see that i got mission three the knockdown mission so i'm just gonna parry heavy and just beat him down knock out that mission as quickly as possible um and you know he, he can get you locked on the cowardice is going to reduce your special attack damage but um yeah i'm not too worried about that so now we got the parry mission which is great um, I feel like those, the parry mission and the knockdown are generally the easier of the missions. I get that true strike active. Um, I'm just hitting him while under the stun. I also put on the um, white magneto pre-fight to get the guaranteed stuns. And um, generally that allows you to hit champs that would normally like auto block you um, safely. Kind of the same same thing that you would use with like um, warlock versus like a penny um, you can get the get the hits while under the stun so here we get two prowess off um, by completing that mission now i'm going to try to get the intercepts and yeah that one that one did not work i'm like dang okay hit it if you so if you hit into the block you will get that concussion um, which can give you some willpower healing, but uh, there we get one. We're up against the corner. We try to get another one. Doesn't it? Doesn't count as an intercept. Um, and I'm just like, okay, come on. I want to get three prowess. Um, I already lost my combo, and I don't have Corvus on the team to make it to where it's I get the prowess at um, at 75 hits instead of 100. But I was getting corner, and it just I don't know. AI just didn't seem to want to play aggressive enough to where I could get some quick intercepts. So I just throw off the special three. Um, and it doesn't quite do it, obviously. Um, and he's at a lot of power. And I'm just like, all right, I need him to throw a special. Being quite annoying. I this is don't know how this is going to go. I'm like, okay, that wasn't too bad. And it shouldn't be too hard to dex. Um, kind of reminds me of like, maybe like, nah, it's not exactly Captain Marvel movie, but um, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to get some intercepts off and it just is not happening there. We get one off. We're going to push him to special one and then we're going to try to drive back. Nope. Uh, that one was, that one's a little bit sketchy. I went in with a medium. We do get the uh, third prowess and we go for the special kill and he auto blocks it. Um, the true strike fell off on that last hit. So luckily I didn't, I didn't get punished too hard, but uh, definitely not the cleanest fight, but Proxima can solo that. Um, I did solo that. Probably go a lot better if I could get the uh, missions completed faster and just decimate them with a special three. But he goes down. So for first for first look going into this guy, I was like, all right, that wasn't too bad. Um, granted, you know, the white mags paired with the true accuracy that Proxima just naturally gets, 
can just bypass all of the auto block stuff. And there you can see the cab offer. I, I skipped on that. Cab offer is pretty nice to get those boosts, but all those items, I just, I just don't need them. So it's hard to spend all that extra units for all those items that would go to waste. So um, here we go. So next up, we're going in with Ronin. So, you know, Sam Wilson, he gets a bunch of armor ups and I'm just like, okay, I should be able to cheese this fight with Ronin so long as um, we're launching those specials under the stuns. Now, if you launch it outside of the stun, uh, you, you're gonna get most likely auto block. So, you know, at five, it's 10% per armor up. So right now he has a 60% chance to auto block my hits. Um, you know, Ronin doesn't have any access to armor, so I can't take advantage of that buff synthesis. So I'm just gonna try to build up as much power as I can while building up his um, armor ups. And right there, it doesn't stun him because that last hit hit outside of the outside of the stun. So the special two is just is too long. And I, I think I'm trying to think if I didn't recognize that I was trying to figure out what just happened there but the the last hit of the special two just like the Proxima one um, it connected outside of the stun so it can be auto blocked and so I think I'm gonna do it again here thinking ah well I think I just threw that one and I guess I was just trying to roll with the RNG and hope that it wouldn't get auto blocked I mean it was a, he had six armor ups 60% chance to um, auto block it but yeah so here we go. So now we're just gonna stick to the special ones. Um, or at least that's the plan. And while he's under the stun, we're good. But we gotta make sure that we land that hit under the stun and boom, I make the mistake. I one extra hit while not under the stun. And um, yeah, he auto blocks me. And special threes me. And this is just a rank four, five star and he cannot survive this special three. So, just lessons learned, gotta make sure any and all of the hits land while under the stun. Otherwise, you're gonna get wrecked, just like I did. So, don't make that mistake if you wanna go in with Ronin. Definitely can do it. I would just stick to the special ones and make sure that you throw it with plenty of time on that stun clock. So, um, we do go in with Mojo. Uh, Mojo, I think I just had Mojo on the team just for his uh, romance synergy with himself that gives um, your team, your whole team, like 7% offensive combat power rate. So I just wanted extra power with Ronin to get to more specials. I was like, I will try, we'll just try out Mojo. We'll hit a bunch while under the stun and see if we just can't degen this guy to death. You can see when I'm hitting into those blocks, we're um, we're, we're getting those concussions. I think it was 10% uh, ability accuracy reduction per concussion. I think up to five stacks. Maybe it's 20%. No, it's it's 10% per per stack in the last 10 seconds. Um, so basically, you can get 50% reduction on your ability accuracy if you cap that out. But here we get to special three. Can't auto block this. Um, and it's just nice. Sam Wilson's got armor ups. Those are buffs, and those turn into DGENs. We get, you know, up above five followers, and we get those haters going as well. And those armor ups, they're just really quickly um, falling off while uh, we have completed a prompt um, and have the uh, anti life field up. So there, we got a we got a counter a special attack. And I'm just like, no, we're gonna throw another special three and get a bunch more in degen. So Mojo can do this fight fairly easily. I would say stick to special threes. Um, they have similar degens and whatnot. Um, and yeah, you can just degen this guy away. Here comes the special two. We're just gonna block it. I don't. I don't have that evade down yet. It looks like it's like a double double dex, possibly on those two beams. 
Maybe you can dex it with one dex, depending on the timing. I'll have to find that out at some point. Um, once I'm going to try to get him at least the four star in the arena this week. And then we can do some duels and practices and stuff. But um, Sam Wilson, he looks looks pretty dope. Uh, really, really like the character in the movies and, and the shows and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we're going to take this guy out. Got some armor ups going that are falling off quickly. And degening. I think we're going to get to a special special three. Do we finish him off with a special three? I cannot remember, but I know we do get the... That's no, not a solo. We do finish him off. Now he just dies. So there we go. Mojo can definitely solo that fight for sure, though. Um, ideally, um, have him ramped up a bit. Makes it a little bit easier to get going. Get that degen damage rolling off. But yeah, we, we finish off. So hope you learn, my learn from my mistake on the Ronin. Make sure you hit while under the stun. And then we're going to roll up to him. All right, so now we're going to try a couple, couple options that um, are going to take advantage of the buff synthesis armor up precision node. So again, if you have an armor up and you have a precision, those two combined will give you a true strike buff. For 15 seconds that's going to allow you to bypass all his um, resistance and uh, auto block stuff so nimrod he can get a lot of armor ups um and yeah we are just gonna try to build up some armor with some parries and and then at some point we'll dex and one of the armors will get consumed and then we can throw specials freely and just nuke this guy down with a bunch of shocks. So there we go, you can see that I got the dex, one of the armor ups was consumed, and we get the true strike, and we switch to blitz, and boom, bunch of shocks. Very nice, decent damage. Um, you know, Sam Wilson's not a mutant, don't get that class advantage and all that, but uh, it's decent, 30% off of the first getting up to and the first L2, not bad at all. We need to get some more armor ups. We had that dex on there, Those that armor up got consumed. We refreshed the true strike. And I um, think we're gonna get this off, switching back to blitz right into eradicate protocol. That one didn't quite do as much damage. Um, we're trying to build up some armor ups. And I think one more special too is just gonna about do it. So I'm having a lot of fun with Nimrod. So Nimrod right here is unawakened. Um, I did this week recently pull Nimrod from my Alliance War rewards. And when I got a featured crystal and yeah, we, we awakened Nimrod. So Nimrod gets extra like special damage and uh, debuff duration and stuff with with the awakening so on, on this on a special attack so that's really it's really nice I'm looking forward to using this guy in war um, just a lot of fun all right so it took uh, he auto blocked that I didn't have a true strike up that's all right we do a little heavy spam you can heavy spam in the corner with this dude a lot of fun a lot of fun gotta watch out for those concussions if you if you hit into the block make sure that those parries land um, we got that true strike up. I'm just hoping one of these heavies will crit and it's just not happening. Um, I think we just tap them over. There we go. So Nimrod can get the solo. Definitely not the quickest fight right there, but he's a solid option, you know, to use that buff synthesis node to your advantage. Um, yeah, we get solo. So next up, we're going to use a similar tactic trying to use that buff synthesis armor up precision node to our advantage as well we're going to use hulk buster um, i do have she hulk and mr fantastic on the team so i will get some power sting damage as well with um, my team when i land debuffs on sam wilson i can stack up to three of those per instance when he's going to be throwing a special attack i do put on the white magneto pre-fight so i get those uh passive stuns um so i won't be building up those power stings through just stunning him but that's all right um there we got two armor ups 
and you know Hulkbuster his armor ups aren't like crazy fast at, at um, generating but you can get them and um, they reduce ability accuracy and stuff on the opponent which is really really nice as well um, so there we do get a dex off that one and get the true strike and we're gonna throw a special two I probably should have waited and tried to bait and throw it into the block so I can get both the damage and the power drains, but not the biggest deal. Tried to counter a heavy off of his heavy. It wasn't long enough to reach, um, but that's all right. Um, get him over in the corner. That second heavy was a little bit sketchy. He was not stunned, um, but we still landed it. Um, but yeah, just if you can use a champ that has access to armor, you can get those and then just dex and convert one of those into that true strike then you're good to go and right there did you see how much damage that that i blocked that special special two and oof, it took it was chunky my my hulkbuster is a rank two um but man it was it was pretty brutal so um we we do trigger the regen which you know hulkbuster's regen isn't crazy like some champs but it's 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 decent it'll help you um sneak out of a fight here and there um and i think it, i believe the potency is increased with his sig let me check that yeah it is and my, my hulkbuster he's just sig 20 so um you know the regen will be more significant as he gets sigged up but yeah like right now I'm looking at my rank, uh, rank three, sig twenty, and he heals nine thousand health. But if he was sig two hundred, it's nineteen thousand, so it doubles. But yeah, so we got we got the solo. Um, Hulkbuster worked pretty well, and yeah, the Sam Wilson fight isn't too difficult. I think as long as you can have access to True Strike or armors or something like that to bypass the auto block, you should be good to go. Um, so next up, who do we use? I think we use Guardian on this, on this attempt. So Guardian does have access to that armor up that it gets at the beginning. If you heavy, you can, um, convert your charges. Um, you can convert one of your charges into a temporary armor up. And so I just figured, yeah, let's try him out. He's got good block. It's not, it's not good block proficiency. It's, per it's perfect block proficiency on those parries which is really nice. He gets the, that uh, energy damage um, when he would crit because you're not going to see any yellow numbers with uh, Guardian. And yeah, stick to, tick to, stick to Sam Wilson's uh, special one. It's pretty easy to just drop back and get out of range of. Um, and it has special one bias, so Generally, he's going to be throwing that pretty willingly. Um, as far as this fight goes, my plan is to, I think, throw two special threes and then get to a special two with an armor up, trigger a dex, get a heavy off, and and then blast him. And I, but I think it, that is not quite enough to take him out. And then out of that, out of that special. So I, I was, I was fighting some of these fights in between the Super Bowl. So that was, I was like watching um, commercial, and I started this fight up. Commercials went off, and I was a little bit distracted. But yeah, I came out of that special three and just ate a combo to the face. Luckily, it didn't, it didn't kill me. Um, yeah, the Super Bowl this year was, it was kind of fun. I didn't really have a team or any players in there that I was super excited to watch but you know it was an interesting game um and there we 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 eat another hit or two to the face all right we're gonna throw off a special three get another set of uh charges building up permanent ones and now the nice thing is if you do lose some health in this fight um you can hit into his block and get those concussions going and uh, get some willpower healing. You just gotta remember that if you have any of those concussions up, like your parries may may fail. So as long as you're kind of aware of that, you can get some healing. But with 
Guardian, you know, he gets those perfect parries. So as long as you're landing them, you're good to go. So I think here we are going to shortly, I think we're going to heavy to get an extra armor up. And then Dex. There we go. We got the Dex. We're getting power drain though right now from his locked on. And so that's getting, that's making it hard to get to our special two. Um, but yeah, man, Guardian, he can just, he can block for days. All right, so there we go. So we triggered a heavy to get the armor up. We trigger a dex and oh yeah, it does, it does, it does kill him. So we do get the solo there. Um, Guardian, pretty decent option to take him out, take advantage of the buff synthesis, take advantage of just landing a couple special threes and then one special two. Good to go. Um, next up, who do I use? Doc Ock. So I went into this fight thinking that Doc Ock would be pretty solid. He didn't work out as well as I had hoped. I still get the solo. I was I was hoping that the, the detonation damage would be... Um, pretty decent but this and it is it is but this guy has 336,000 health so I kind of underestimated like how how much heavies and what kind of play I would need to um, get this guy down so I do have white mags on it does push you back quite a bit but both heavies will still connect um, and detonate those debuffs that are put on Sam Wilson when I get my chemistry charges built up you know whether I'm putting the heal block on or the um, power lock um, yeah so I believe we're just gonna build up to a special three though and we're just doing a lot of parry heavies you know uh, Doc Ock can get armor ups uh, but I'm not really trying to utilize that mechanic with the buff synthesis that much. I'm just going to try to parry heavy, get to special two or special threes, and then cycle those. Um, and yeah, this this one's a fairly long. It's longer than I had anticipated. But you can see, like I got nine thousand on that uh, detonation damage here. Totally miss parries miss my opening to get the detonation on that so it kind of stinks like if you miss your parries and whatever and you do not keep those uh those chemistry charges that it gets up to where you can keep putting a debuff on whether it's the heal block or the uh power lock you know it it can be a little bit problematic he, there he throws i throw the special two he block auto blocks the last part of it but we do have three of those um debuffs on but when I detonated because I had all of those concussions I didn't get the the, the the damage that goes along with it which was kind of stinky but you know whatever but I'm getting about yeah 4900 per if I have one debuff on so I just need to make sure like if, if you were to use Doc Ock I'm not saying he's like the, the best counter he, he definitely works he definitely can get the fight done but he doesn't really have what I was looking for, I don't know, maybe I'm I'm just, I had a strategy that probably wasn't the best either, but um, yeah, they're, you know, 5,000 per heavy plus whatever normal uh, damage you would take on the two hits. It's not, it's not terrible, um, but it's also not fast or great, but I tried to spam a heavy there because you can spam heavies with Doc Ock in the corner, but he was just too far away. Did not connect um, we're almost we're almost through there again I try to throw a special through all those armors it gets auto blocked and then again I got the concussion active um, and I'm taking that rupture damage so I definitely would suggest you know if you're not gonna get that true strike up definitely stick to special threes because that won't be auto blocked otherwise you will get auto blocked but um, yeah, we get the solo with Doc Ock. You know, I like to try to use all my champs. And, uh, you know, while it worked again, it was slow. Not truly effective, but it, it, it worked. It was just damage output was somewhat lacking. 
Um, and then I think this is the last fight for the for the map. And I debated whether or not to use Surfer or Overseer. Um, they have a nice little synergy together. I'm going to use Surfer. Um, Surfer has fairly easy access to trigger armor ups. And if I convert an armor up and a dex into the um, true strike buff, you know, I still get the, the energy damage from from that because uh, Silver Surfer isn't all buffs will enhance your energy damage on attack so um, so yeah we're just gonna surfer this guy down as far as like rotation and stuff I didn't really have anything particularly planned here we do trigger the armor up into the special too so we get that unblockable plus the true strike um, buff activated and it consumed that precision and the armor up that I had which was pretty nice pretty decent damage there and then here we go we get an armor up again and i think we're gonna get true strike activated yeah it gets activated right after i hit him with that dex precision up um, and you can kind of just keep cycling those armor ups with the precision and um, keep getting that true strike activated and you know the special one there we get the vigilance and you know we're getting some decent energy damage off um, per hit and we can't be auto blocked so here we go again another armor up and I miss I missed the phase and so I let uh, I let the um, power gain fall off so we have to reactivate that and here we go we're gonna wait for the armor up and again we heavy into the special to get the uh, true strike pat, uh, buff plus the unblockable and he's out so surfer definitely works pretty well i like using surfer i like i like i like champs where you know you have to do certain mechanics throughout the fight um, to make their their damage and utility um you know good so anyways i do like surfer i like i like uh, using surfer as an attacker so we finish off we get our rewards for a cav exploration and uh let's go open up some of that we're not going to open up everything but um we don't have enough for a six star crystal i'm going for features anyways um but let's go open up the six stones and i think i open up like a cab from the cab shards um as far as like six stones i'm really looking to build back up my tech six stones because i just finished capping out guillotine 2099 and if i get if i get nimrod awakened which um spoiler alert this is this is done last this was done last week and i just now getting around to it but this week I did pull and awaken Nimrod, so definitely am very interested in getting as many tech six stones as I can. We get one, one out of ten. Yeah, it's better than zero. Um, and then we're looking at our crystals. Again, don't have enough for a six star, um, but we are going to look and we're like, oh, we got enough for our cab from the logging calendar, so let's open up that. And pleasantly surprised. Um, I do not get a three star, um, but we end up landing on a five star guillotine 2099. So that's not bad. More sigs on her. She's not max sig. But yeah, hopefully this video helped you get you some ideas on what you can do for your cab exploration. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.